So hello dear students, today we will start with civics. Next unit, that is unit 7, Urban Administration. Now when we talk about Urban Administration, we mean we are talking about Municipal Corporation or Nagar Nikam, as you know. So Municipal Corporation is carried on with a population of more than 5 to 10 lakhs, means where the population is more. And rural administration is carried on in the villages where the population is less. Now when we talk about municipal corporation, we need to know about how the functions are carried on, how the administrative work is done and how the funds are collected in the municipal corporation and what all it takes care of the city. So let's start with the chapter. So in the chapter, there is a story about friends, few friends and their names are Shankar, Jahangir and Rehana. Now they are playing and while playing, they broke the street light. Now, before that, when they were playing some days back, they had broken a glass window, a window pane of a neighbor. So, they collected the money, they pulled in the money and they gave it to the neighbor. Now, when they broke the street light, they were confused. Now, when they broke the window pane, they gave the money to the Neighbor, but now the street light is broken. So who they will give the money or they pulled in the money and they wanted to repair the lights. But they were not knowing who to give the money. So they went to a known person. First they went to their mother. And the, her mother said that I know a known person who have been working with the municipal corporation and she can help. So they went to Yasmin Khala. Okay, they went to Yasmin Khala and wanted to give the money. But she said that I won't take the money. You have to give it to you, means you have to get it repaired, and this is not my work. So Yasmin Khala said that there is no one person that you can pay. That means it is a chain of organization that you have to. Different person in municipal corporation looked into different work. And like for example, they look into cleaning, they look into a garbage collection, maintenance of roads, uh, maintenance of park, drinking water, uh, medical facilities, dispensaries, uh, this, uh, government hospitals. All these are education system also, all these are looked in by the municipal corporation of the city. So here they were quiet and they and she said that I am not means I am just a, I just used to collect money. Um, it's like I used to be a clerk, but I am not uh, the person who would do repair the electric or repair the lights. Now here we have to know that there is a chain of work, like there is a state government as you can see who elects the mayor for the period of five years. Then the mayor elects, there is an election, okay, and by the citizens, the citizens they go and they vote and select a Ward councillor. Okay, the mayor elects the municipal commissioner or the chairman. He is elected, not uh, means he is not, uh, you don't have to vote, he is elected and for a period of five years again and by the mayor. Okay, he is an IAS officer, that means he is, has passed the Indian administrative exams and he is. Then there is an election. Now this election is among the wards. Now there is not among the wards means 
they are in the wards, the election, the municipal corporation elections are there, there you select a ward councillor of your particular ward. Like you must be having, you can ask your parents that which ward you belong to. You must be having a number of the ward or a name of the ward like uh, Avanti Bai ward or uh, you have Rajiv Gandhi ward. Okay, like all these they have ward number 6, ward number 5, ward number 10. Now they are elected from these the candidates appear for the means the candidate is selected and you have the citizens of India, the citizens, the people go and vote and select their representative of the particular ward. And that member is called as a ward councillor. Now this ward councillor, what is the work of the ward councillor? He makes sure, he ensures that the work in the in his locality where he has been selected, that it takes care it properly. That means proper roads, proper street lights, uh, there is no uh, you know, uh, shortage of drinking water area where there when is the, the maintenance of parks. Uh, all these he is taking care of. And anything you have any problem regarding this amenities, you can go to your ward councillor and he will further go to the municipal or commissioner and will put forward your problem. So he acts as a middle man in the municipal corporation. Okay. So that is what he is for the help of the people. Now because it's a big unit, the city is big with lakhs of population. So it is not a work of one person. They are committees that are being elected for the like for education and like all the board councillors make few make small small committees and they look forward and look and take care of the different amenities of the people like a community look into the education the community look into the uh, health health and the services or the maintenance of roads and the maintenance of parks all these are being looked by these people. So they have this. Okay, then the city, uh, as I said, that. Okay, then the next we come to how the municipal corporation, how they get the money to do all these things. There is special fund that is being collected, that is being given by the state government, but most of the money comes from us, from the people. We pay, okay, like we pay in the form of income tax, we pay in the form of property tax, water tax, uh, education fares, or uh, entertainment tax. All these taxes that are being collected from us are in the form of the money that the municipal corporation or the Naka Nikam uses to carry on all these work. Now, this tax is very important. That is why we have to and we should pay all our taxes so that in return we receive all the benefits.